Hello everyone. In this particular session, we are going to design a particular footprint for the processor. In our previous session, we had designed a SOP footprint which was quite simple. But now in this case, we are going to design a BGA footprint so that we will have a better grip on footprint creation. So I had selected this particular footprint for the BGA and it has uh, this dimension and all the dimensions here mention that the all the dimensions are in millimeter and it have some tolerances which is followed by the ASME standard. But in this particular practice session, we are not going to take care about the tolerances. Okay. So first we have to start with the dimension outer dimension so that we, we will have a better idea regarding the bowls which is present here in this case okay see this here is a one corner many of the engineer who is preparing the this kind of a footprint they always look for forward for this a1 means they will directly denote this footprint as an a1 a2 a3 but in actual case the a1 is start from here okay so each and every time when we are creating the footprint then each and every time we have to very take care about this kind of a corner okay so first we will start with the outer dimension so let's open the keycad software and let's create a new project okay so i will save it in on the desktop and uh, let us give the name as a demo and the project name will be the demo and uh, first we are going to design the footprint so click on the footprint editor it will open the footprint editor so our footprint editor is ready now i will create a new library and i will prefer the global library and uh, i will save it to the our demo project and i will give name as an bga okay bga 3t okay so our bga library is created here and now let us add a new footprint and let us give the footprint this is the plastic package so i will give the bga and the it will be smd okay okay so this is the reference for some time we will throw it outside okay now first let us create the frame so see here uh, in the data sheet we have a frame or the cell screen in which we will have a bowls and here we have two dimensions okay so i will prefer the 13.10 13.10 okay so first let us create the 13.10 dimension so here i am using the keycad version 6 so uh, it is really easy to design the square box okay and the dimension is a 13.10 so let's go back to the keycad and the, let's open the calculator okay so overall dimension is 13.10 so this dimension should be 13.10 but in this keycad it will take this vertical and horizontal as an axis means the entire portion will be 13.10 so half portion will be divided by 2 so it will be 6.55 so to arrange this rectangle just click on the this rectangular and write here 6.55 6.55 6.55 and 6.55 and it will be the cell screen okay i don't want field shape so i am not clicking here so now press okay it will be the perfect square okay now all the balls will be in this particular section now see here in this data sheet we have lots of balls and all the balls are arranged in a matrix format but some of the balls are missing <laughs> as per the design so either there will be two ways or many ways but we are discussing two ways in the first case we will create entire array and after creating the array we will delete individual balls the second way is that we will prepare the first half and we will rotate it and make it mirror so that we will have automatically second half so i think the second process is really easy in which we will have to do the half work and half work work will be the automatic one okay so let's start or let's begin with the 
our bga footprint so first we want the clearance or first we want we have to prepare the grid so what will be the grid dimension see here the clearance between the balls will be 0.65 for the vertical case and for the horizontal case it will be the 0.65 means x will be 0.65 and y will be 0.65 so let us create a new grid so click on the grid edit user grid and here the origin will be 00, zero. okay so see here i have already created the user grid which, which will be the 0 0.65 0 0.65 okay click okay and now select the grid okay and see here here we will put one pair but in the data sheet our pair has a round shape and it has a dimension of a 0 0.46 okay i am considering the upper one that is a 0 0.46 so let's go back to the keycad and let's change the property of paired we need a circular pair and which should have a dimension of a 0 0.46 mm okay so i will write it here 0 0.46 mm okay and this will be the diameter and click ok so see here our first pair is created but it should be in the grid first so what we will do we will control x and control v okay and now we will do the four other pair total 19 pairs are in the sequence see here total 19 pairs are in the sequence so we will what we will do we will do we will copy and paste all 90 pairs and then we will copy and paste all the rows okay so let's go back to the keycad here we have five pairs six seven eight nine and ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen and total nineteen here in keycad there is a some a little bug i don't know why this thing happened even though we have set grid uh, almost all the pairs are same but uh, if you will see properly then you will find that uh, there will be some error if you will see here if you will change the grid to minimum then you will find that the this pair is slightly on the top side okay so why i don't know why this thing happened but uh, it should not be good thing for the calcad user okay so what i will do i will again control x and control v and again set the grid and i will put it there again okay so i will just verifying all the things by just setting the small grid so that we will have a better idea regarding the, if uh, any pair will be moved up or downside okay left side is okay and uh, right side is also perfect okay now we have perfect single line with the grid now let's go back to the grid and let's copy the first row and paste it on the bottom side so this is the simple method okay so this is our half portion is ready now let us set pdf one by one so that i can easily remove the pad okay let's uh, zoom it some portion okay perfect the first row will be full and the second will be full and the third in the third row we have three balls and fourth will be removed so in the three we have three and fourth will be removed then there will be a uh, four balls and fifth will be removed so one two three four and fifth will be removed okay same for this place here will be four and here is removed now in the fourth row we will have to remove the three balls okay so there should be a three there should be a two balls and the three should be removed i think there is a mistake okay four should be removed one two three ah three three should be removed okay perfect no issue everything is okay and now one two and three okay perfect ready and uh, here in the fourth row we have to remove one ball here and one ball here and here we have to take care about the three then one then one okay 
here one here one and now here we also have one missing in the center two will be here and two will be removed two will be removed so see this this is the simplest thing it, it is a simple drawing if you know paint if you know how to work with paint then you can easily do this okay now we are going to rotate it again rotate it okay and just place here on the bottom side okay same control c control v rotate rotate we will have our entire bga perfectly ready and now is the lengthiest process ever it is a naming the ball but from where we have to start the names numbering okay so here i have already prepared one symbol uh, standard symbol that is a bga here okay save our previous and see this i have removed all the uh, renamed all the balls and now the corner as shown in the data sheet the corner is on the right side so see this the a1 a2 is numbering is starting from right to left so a b c d a b c d on the vertical side and the number is rising from right to left okay ascending orders from right to left i will left numbering for you and uh, the, here we have some fabrication layers see this by double clicking you will find that this is the fabrication layer this is also the fabrication layer and this is the cell screen cell screen will be printed on the pcb but fabrication layer is will not print on the pcb okay so why we need a fabrication layer so the fabrication layer is useful for the pick and place machine so whenever we have a highly dense pcb each and every time it is not possible to write the ic number okay so what we will do what normally we are doing that uh, we are removing the ic numbers means if there will be a thousands of resistors in a very small place for example if you are de designing the ddr3 ram in that particular case we have to remove the notation so this notation will not printed on the pcb but where we have to implement this particular processor in which direction so each and every time to give the data to the fabrication house we have to define the fabrication layer okay so this is why we have to use this fabrication layer and this is the courtyard which will confine that which will says that the our particular component has a limitation the not any other component should be overlapped with this particular space okay if we are placing resistor here then it should be outer side not inner side if there will be intersection then there will be a drc error okay so first we will create this cell screen okay and this corner let's go back to our package bga and see this this is our bga okay so first i will create one small notch so that we will have a idea regarding the bga corner so numbering will starting from here okay let's save it first and now let's create the courtyard simply take a square and draw the square and just change the layer for the courtyard so this is the courtyard okay now if you if you want to prepare for the fabrication layer simply draw the layer double click on the layer and press e e will open the property okay and write it as a fabrication layer and again we will draw one line for the fabrication reference and just double click and press e and change it to the fabrication layer okay so you have to give the number by yourself otherwise this video will be very lengthy so this will be the a1 this will be the a2 and this will be the a3 okay so in in this keycad uh, we are doing everything manually but there are some plugin present so which will be very useful to create any kind of uh, standard 
footprints okay it will all automatically numbering all the footprint and uh, it have some bugs but uh, this will be the best way to do it will little bit time consuming but one cpu has one processor in this case whenever we want a quality and surety about 100% success okay so this is our bga ready and we can import it to the our schematic as per our requirement but i wish you will practice this schematic properly and you will have a better idea regarding how to create any kind of a footprint okay you should know particular function like a rotating mirroring all will be perfectly easy for example uh, if we if if you want to prepare a half portion then you can also do the mirroring we we had used uh, the rotating function but just uh, select all the pad that we want to create on the right side so select the pad right click and first we have to copy it first control c control v and see here all the same same to same copy is created here in this case now what we will do we will just right click on the same selection and do the mirror and now simply place it as per the grid dimension okay if you will change the grid then there will be a disaster okay so this is the uh, last session for the footprint i think thank you so much for the session we will meet soon